so we were streaming last night, and it was going really well. There was a particular boss fight that completely ruined us. Uh, but we managed to get through it the second time around. Uh, and then my power went out, so we have to do it again. <laughs> uh, listened to the soundtrack the other night. Power through getting some work done. So calming. Awesome! Yeah, I really love the soundtrack to this. Um, the advantage of, or the, the good thing about doing it again is there was actually um, a change I needed to make to Satsuna's loadout. So we'll, we get to do that. Uh, Lightning 2. Yeah, how are y'all doing? How are you doing, Brett? And, and you as well, David. Alright. So let's... Oh gosh. Oh no, I have to do this cutscene for like the third time. Mm. Alright, let's do it. Snow, snow, oh tell me snow, the bird in the valley, blah blah blah, when will she fly? Oh to return to the royal gate, oh to soar over the sky. Snow, snow, oh falling snow, oh to return to that time. We'll hear somebody much better at singing sing that song later, don't worry. Well brave kids. They must be singing a nursery rhyme to cheer each other up. Oh, hello! You all came back again. He seems really happy to see us, but I don't even remember seeing these kids before. Who knows? Anyway, it's nice they're glad to see us. You're the princess's friends, right? Where's the princess? Sorry. Julianne can't come back yet. But we've come here to help you all instead. Really? You came to get rid of the monsters? Leave it to us. Yay! Thank you! We were all so scared. It's alright. You don't have to worry now. <laughs> Yay! So we don't have anything to be afraid of anymore. Where are your mommies and daddies? They're not here. They went off somewhere when the monsters came. We've been waiting for them, but they still haven't come back. I'm sorry. Why are you saying sorry? You didn't do anything wrong. We're going to protect you, all right? I promise. <laughs> Sleep, that is always a good thing, yeah. All right, fighting time. Time for me to make the same joke the third time? Probably. Looks like our panels are here. Be careful, everyone. Seeing as Eterna isn't here, looks like I've got to pick up the slack by not being in the party. Yep, made the same joke. <laughs> All right, let's do that. Lightning two. See how we do. Ah, dang. I was kind of hoping that would get everybody. That'll do. This might get both the birds, that would be great. Damn it. Uh. Oh, that's not good. Alright. Just want a night with more than five hours of sleep? Oh no, Brit, no! Get more sleep than that. Oh, son of a... Yeah, 
Let's kill the bird because it sucks. Oh, that's really bad. Ooh, yeah, that's not great. All right, uh, let's get a cure out. It's more mana than I was hoping to spend. How <laughs> dare I kill birds? Animal Caretaker is not a very streaming compatible job. Fair. Uh, also, great timing on on those two. <laughs> yeah. Well, they're trying to kill me, okay? More limb. Damn it. I'm exhausted already. Leave it to me. Huh? Eterna, is it really you? Of course! Although, I suppose I wouldn't tell you if it wasn't, would I? I'm sure we've all got a lot of questions, but right now... Yeah, let's save it for later. Here comes the head honcho. <sighs> Here we go. Let's do this, friends. It's not the best starting position for us, but it'll have to do. Alright, let's get an end thunder on Nid for now. And then, time for the cheese combo. Oh, that was the wrong button. Shit. It's Blowbeat is the one I'm supposed to use. Uh, but at least it stunned him, so it's not the worst. Uh, let's get a Lightning. Okay, we have a Momentum Point, so that's good. I should probably put the life-saving thing on Satsuna. Okay, she needs to use prayer on Nid. She's also going to need more mana herself soon. Come on, combo. There we go. Alright, blow beat this time. I have got a status effect, not the one I was hoping for. Do we have a tech here? Yeah, wall. Mm, let's save it. Ooh! Alright, uh, let's end thunder everyone. Uh, where is it? Tenacity? Oh, I can only use it on Nid. Hmm. Alright. Then, let's wait for Endear and get the combo. Alright, that's fine. Paralysis, sweet. All right, I'm gonna get a cure. Uh, I have not yet played Octopath Traveler, because as far as I know, that's only on Switch, right? Yeah, um, I don't, I just got a Switch uh, on like Christmas, 
Uh, and I haven't played it very much yet. Um, so no, I have not played Octopath Traveler yet. I want to. It's actually one of the main reasons I wanted to switch. Uh, prayer on yourself. Oh, no longer paralyzed. We need to do the combo. Got him about halfway, so let's see if we can prevent any healing. Alright. Yes, we got the stun. Sweet. Uh, Alright, this is actually going really well. Hello there, Magnus friend. Yes. Get wrecked, you stupid sheep. Oh no. Okay. At least it's this one. It's it's gonna heal about one thousand HP, but that's actually less than it could be healing. So uh, let's see. We need to get a prayer on Nid. Get ready for a blow beat. Mm, let's actually wait for combo points. Oof. Yes, paralysis. Okay. the prayer on Nid. Okay. We've gotten really good RNG on this. Uh, I need to use an Ether on Satsuna. Come on. Gonna get out of the paralysis soon. Yeah, yeah, so let's wait for Nid and then do the combo. Come on, 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 come on. Alright. Come on, be paralyzed. Okay, we got a stun and a confusion, it looks like. I think we got this. Just one more hit. Yes! Fuck yeah! Woo! <laughs> ah, that, that's actually that's the best that that fight has gone for us so far. <sighs> awesome. Okay. Oh, we didn't get as many items this time. Last time we got a uh, like something fleece when we def defeated it. Interesting. Prayer, yes. Shock, yeah. So, what exactly is going on? Come on, you've got some explaining to do. Ned, stop! Attorney isn't our enemy. Not sure about that, are you exactly? What do you think, Andir? Why did you disappear? Well, that took me by surprise too. But I can't tell you why it happened yet. For your sakes, and for my own. You really expect us to trust in you after a half-cocked answer like that? I... I trust you. Welcome back, Eterna. Setsuna. 
I swear that I will take you to the last lands. I swear it. No matter what happens. I know. I've known all along. Yeah. Well, this whole thing sure is a big mystery. But you ain't lying. I can tell that much. So can Endir. I've trusted you all along anyway. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. I heard you were here from one of the knights. Thank goodness. Thank you so much. I have not been outside in a long time. Ah, you're Julianne's childhood friend, ain't you? We've taken care of most of the monsters near here. You shouldn't have to live in fear anymore. For the moment, at least. And we'll find Julianne, too. I promise. Thank you. I am counting on you. By the way, your ancestors must have had something to do with the royal family, too, right? Well, uh, sort of, but there's something we want to ask you then. Tell us about the Royal Crest. The Royal Crest? I do not know much about it, but I have heard that long ago the Crest possessed a sacred power. There are some ruins that have the Crest engraved at their entrance. Do you know how we can get inside? I have heard tell of a hidden place that is somehow connected to the royal family. Do you know how to get inside? That I do. It is spoken of in legends passed down in our village. Really? However, I do not think it would be possible now. Why not? Because the seal on that gate can only be opened by one with the royal blood. Royal blood, huh? We need Julianne. What happened to her, anyway? You said something about finding her. After you disappeared, she went off somewhere, too. Anyway, looks like we're not getting anywhere till we find Julianne. Julianne, where are you? But how are we going to go about looking for her? We don't even have the slightest idea where to start. Let's just go and check on those children again instead. I feel so sorry for them being stuck inside all this time. You've grown up a lot since I last saw you, Kier. Huh? You think? I don't think I'm any different. I agree with Kier. Sorry, wrong voice. I agree with Kier that he has not grown up at all. Come on, let's head back to where those children were. And here we get the actual version of the song. Look, it's the princess's friends. Is the princess back yet? Sorry, not yet. Oh. Oh well. We'll just wait here and sing. The princess taught us this song, you know? Oh. Julienne did, did she? That's right. The princess is great at singing. Will you sing it for me then? Sure. One, two, three. I also just realized my camera's been on the wrong side this entire time. <laughs> we Pro streamer. I think that's right. Alright. 
Pro streamer streams games. Okay. Snow, snow. Oh, tell me, snow. The bird in the valley, when will she fly? Oh, to return to the royal gate. Oh, to soar over the sky. Snow, snow, oh, falling snow. Oh, to return to that time. This song. Uh, there's something about it. Yeah, I agree. Something about it? Which part? Oh, to soar over the sky. Yeah. You could interpret that line as being symbolic, like thoughts flying back home across the skies. But maybe it really is talking about a way to actually fly back. I do get the feeling that song has something to do with all of this. But even if it does, I don't see how us analyzing a children's rhyme is going to help anything. Let's ask that aspiring researcher. Yeah, right. There might be some sort of record of it in an old document or something. The more information we have about the royal fam or the royal valley, the better. Let's go pay the aspiring researcher a visit. Yesum. Hello. Whoop. Greetings. Excuse me. We want to ask you about a nursery rhyme. A nursery rhyme? Oh, that one the children always sing, you mean. The song's lyrics are said to show its writer's nostalgia for the royal capital. Yeah, the music in this game is amazing. Uh, it's also on Spotify, if you like listening to it uh, outside of the stream. Their destiny to one day f or their desire, rather, to one day fly across the sky and return there. So it isn't just about a bird after all. But even if that's the case, flying back across the sky is impossible for humans. Yeah, so it's a sad song. Because it isn't possible. So it's like they at least want their thoughts to return to their homeland. But the words of the song, the bird in the valley, when will she fly? Don't you think it's like there's a sense of hope behind those words? A sense of waiting for something? There is one other thing that can fly. You certainly could take the words to mean that, couldn't you? You don't mean... an airship? And it's certainly not impossible. Legend has it that back at that time, or back at the time of the kingdom's fall, by chance, the queen and a select few of her retainers were away on a royal airship and thus survived. You don't think they could have hidden the airship in the ruins inside Magna Valley, do you? Maybe so that they wouldn't be pursued by the foe who destroyed their kingdom. So? What do you think? There's no way of saying for certain. But personally, I'd say there's definitely a very good possibility that's the case. There's a whole lot of qualifiers in that sentence right now. Personally, definitely very good possibility that it's the case. <laughs> that's that's a roller coaster of certainty and uncertainty. So there isn't just Sprit Knight in the ruins. There's a whole airship and a royal one too. Akashi blew his top if he heard this. All I'm saying is that it's possible. I've known that nursery rhyme since I was a little boy, so it never occurred to me before. And of course, until the spatial distortions disappeared, we weren't even able to get to the Magna Valley. Uh, this, actually, that line, or the, the all I'm saying is that's possible, that's where my power cut last night. So, congratulations, welcome to things Dylan hasn't seen before. Welcome, YouTube. So we need to find Julianne and get inside the ruins. So good timing for me. Yes, welcome, Gem Song. Welcome back. Then, once we find the royal airship, 
and we'll be able to cross the vanished land? Oh, bright! Things are looking up! But it was Julianne who chose to stay away from us. And in the state she was in. I'll be a toxic dude. We can worry about that later. Yes, I think so too. Either way, we need to find Julianne. She's one of us. She means the world to all of the people of the village too. So, first we need to find Julianne. Right. We can't do anything else until we do. Come on, let's go and look for Julianne. On the way, we can go tell Old Man Akash about the Royal Airship. Alright, so I guess... That, that was clever. Um... Oh? Oh. Uh, never mind, I take back what I said. I'll, I'll finish that thought after this dialogue. Akash, and all the knights. Ah, uh, you are here. What happened? Looks like some of your knights are injured. Ah, uh, we've been to hell and back, and all because of that Julianne. She... Sir, kindly hold your tongue. The power go out because it's storming? Yes. Yes. Uh, it's not storming as bad tonight, thank God. It's actually been pretty calm, knock on wood. Um, but yeah, last night, th there were like, there was a ton of rain and super high winds and the power went out for the whole neighborhood. So. Supposed to snow near you. Ooh, I, actually, I really like snow. Um, we don't get any here, but. Kindly hold your tongue. Uh, where's Julianne? I... I'm afraid I cannot tell you that. Given the circumstances, I say this was an emergency, wouldn't you? You didn't stand a chance by yourselves, right? If you don't let us help, the situation's only going to get worse. Uh. Please tell us. We might be able to help. <laughs> Come here, we have lots of snow. Lots of it. Uh, well, Magnus, if you can find a way to make Iceland be like... If I can take a bus to Iceland, I'll be there. With the spatial distortions gone, we were on guard against monsters invading from other regions. This is not the voice I was doing for him. He was British and evil, but... I led our troops into Magna Valley. It was there that we found Lady Julianne. Or what remains of her. Is Julianne safe? Gemsong! Thank you for gifting a sub to Atomic Firebird. Thank you so much. I appreciate the support. <laughs> yeah, Brit! Enjoy the popcorn! No, I'm afraid she is not what you would call safe. Her Highness is no longer... Her Highness. Upon noticing us, she suddenly rose to her feet and attacked us. Cloaked in a sinister aura, she seemed more monster than human. Julianne. And so, left with no other alternative, we used a restraining spell to contain her there. However, its effect shall not last long. Her Highness, Lady Julianne, is in great pain. Incredible, incredible magical energy has something to do with what's happening to her, doesn't it? Uh, tell us what's going on. But I... Julianne is one of us now. If she's in pain, we want to help her. <laughs> you want to come here just for the snow? You can go to Canada instead like a normal person. Fair. Uh, we've already done everything that we can. Very well, I shall tell you. Most likely, it is due to the blood of a monster. Huh? 
Lady Julian consumed the blood of a monster. What? Why? Isn't monster blood highly poisonous? Indeed it is. Most humans would die instantly if they consumed it. But in some rare cases, there are those to whom it grants great power and life force. Her Highness is one such example. A long time ago, when out slaying monsters, Her Highness was left stranded by an avalanche. We heard. It was to rescue a knight who didn't get away in time, right? Indeed. Her Highness was left teetering on the very edge of life and death. In order to survive, she had no choice but to consume the blood of a monster. It was because of her fierce will, her undying determination, to see her kingdom restored. Yeah, alright, we get the picture. So it's the effect of the monster blood. That's what's given her that superhuman magical energy. The Highness survived, and returned to the village. We all rejoiced, of course. However, in exchange for that incredible magical energy, the monster blood began to transform her into a monster herself. Her Highness's mental state has become progressively worse. On occasion, her mental distortions cause her to show extreme cruelty and ruthlessness. I fear Her Highness may never return to her former self. And so, I have prepared myself to die together with her. I shall continue my service to her in the afterlife. No one's dying just yet, old man. Right now we need to help Julianne. Don't worry. We'll get Julianne back to her old self. When I think of Her Highness's pain, I... I... Damn. Let's go beat Julianne up. Hit her with friendship. Seeing as you told him we're going to save her, I take it you've got some sort of plan? Come on, what else could I say, given the circumstances? Exactly. Anyway, we need to get Julianne back to normal, no matter what. If we don't, we won't be able to enter the ruins. And if her transformation has already progressed this far, will there really be any way we can cure her? Uh, we need to find someone to cure her. Looks like we ain't got no other choice. It's easy enough to say that, but finding someone isn't going to be that simple. Treating a human that's who's turning into a monster isn't something just anyone can do, is it? What we need to do is find someone who can cure Julianne. Hmm. Easier said than done. We don't know anyone who's good at that sort of thing, do we? Yeah, we do. We know just the person. Someone who specializes in healing magic. You're right. Let's ask Sayagi. That's right. Sayagi did call herself a healer, after all. She already cured Julianne once, too. Sayagi did help cure Julianne before. Maybe it's worth talking to her. Come on. Let's go back to Gatherington. So much as I love Setsuna, her way of thinking is a pain in the ass sometimes. How so? I'm a huge fan of it. I'm, I'm super stoked that finally there's a protagonist that's just like, no, we do the right thing all the time. Because I'm, I have grown fatigued with uh, morally ambiguous protagonists. And I like that she's just so committed to being a good person all the time. Alright, we're not going to skip any encounters. Because we don't want to end up underleveled again. Oh 
we should get that um, reduces MP cost for combos thing, uh, Sprit Knight, and put it on Nid as well. Ow! Yo, that was a lot of XP. Oh, moss covered fur, we needed that. I forget for what, but we need that for one of the Sprit Knights. I think for one of Endears? Uh, eh, uh, uh. Hell Moss, what a name. Kaboom! Uh, oh hi Julian. Hang in there just a little longer. Okay. Bye. This game is really pretty, especially for like, I mean, if you compare it to like Final Fantasy, oh god, 15? The most recent one, the one with like Noct Noctis and whatnot. Honestly, it's pretty lo-fi, but the art direction is really good. And a lot of the lo-fi stuff is, like, well done. Like, this background here, um, the, the, fucking, these rocks, right? That's a matte painting, I'm pretty sure. I don't think those are actual, like, 3D. Might be a little bit of 3D, but it is, it is essentially painted instead of a full 3D rendered object. So, it's pretty neat. ABS, the final, f I, mm, I don't know what, AB oh, abs, abs, the final fantasy game. Is that not all of them? Nice. I thought we hadn't gotten that one. Like, Titus had some abs. Shirtless dudes. <laughs> nice. Yeah. I didn't play it either. I think Final Fantasy VII had the least abs of any Final Fantasy game, and I blame the fact that they were new to 3D for that. Oh, was Titus a teenager? I sort of thought of him as like 19 or 20. Um, but I was very young when I played that game. I was like 12 or something. If that, I might have been more like 10 or 11. Oh god. So long. Old man Dylan. Hey! Back in my day. Let's beat the crap out of this owl. Oh, we can probably just hit it really hard. Yep. I think that's a rare enemy of some kind. <laughs> 19 is technically still a teenager. 
Okay, Magnus. Good point. Oh, we don't want to fight that guy. That guy hurts a lot. All right. I don't remember who is Balth Bal Balthier. Totally feel the back in my day. Yeah, I know I'm not that old. I'm I'm still really young, but. The airship captain with Oh, was he the FF12 guy? That was FF Tell. Awesome. I remembered. Haha! <laughs> Good job, Dylan. Back in my day, I played Frogger! Oh, damn. <laughs> From Canada to New York to buy an NES. Oh, no! <laughs> oh. Hey, polyamorous Q? Should I just. Can I call you Q? It's our companion. Julianne, she's in real trouble. Q is the preferred abbreviation? Perfect. We've come to ask you for help. So, it is as I feared. I did sense it faintly the first time I met her. I thought that her magical energy was different from that of a human. Ooh, Brit! <laughs> Thank you for the bits there for remembering more Final Fantasy than my brain is capable of tonight. You know what? I'll take it, but also don't feel bad. It's okay. Sometimes, sometimes brains are silly. I could not brain earlier today, um, so I was really just saving all my brain power for tonight. Please, heal Julienne. Of course. If I could cure her, then I would. I cannot stop her transformation. Oh no! It is far beyond my power. So there's... nothing left we can do? You must understand. I merely said it was beyond my power. Ho ho ho, old lady! Oh, oh no! Brit, go ahead and, and get some rest when you need it. Huh? What do you mean? What I mean is that I do have an idea of someone who might be able to help her. Just one person, mind you. Really? There is a spell that can drive out the evil influences of monsters. <laughs> Not my power, but when our powers combine! Yes, Q. <laughs> if you use it, you may well be able to control her transformation. Where is this person? There is no need to look far. The spell of which I speak may only be used by one who is worthy. One who possesses both noble spirit and great selflessness. I wonder who she's talking about it. <laughs> Captain Planet! He's a hero! I'm talking about you, Setsuna. Me? But... I... I don't know any spell like that. No, of course you do not. I'm going to teach it to you. However, learning this spell carries with it a significant risk. What, what do you mean? If not learned properly, its force will be returned upon the caster, and if that happens, death is certain. But you are the sacrifice. Many lives and futures rest upon your shoulders. It is possible that you may end up needlessly throwing away your own life to try and save just one. I don't think it would be needless. Anyway. 
I know I shall reach the last lands no matter what. I'll be fine. So please, tell me how I can save Julianne. Here, take this. Power Drain Sprit Knight, okay. What's this? Sprit Knight that has lost its power. Now you are going to imbue it with a new power. A power that will allow us to bring back that young lady's spirit and life force. This is our last chance to save her. You must simply do one thing. Use your healing powers to endure my light elemental magic attacks. You must show me your determination, your will. Use my healing powers to endure your light elemental magic. I understand, Sayagi. I can do it. I know I can. Very well. Come outside. Shit, old lady's just gonna beat up our friend. It's cool. Uh, what? Okay. Psh, is that all you have, old lady? Come on! Okay, we're gonna heal off of that one. <laughs> Can we beat her up back? <laughs> no, I'm not gonna do it. Unless, maybe we're supposed to? Very good. Just a little longer. Okay. This is easy. <laughs> nah, instead I'll just cut you down. You just turn into Kylo Ren, let the past die. At least she hits us for the same amount of time. Oh, hey. We did it! Woo! Sick! Oh shit, Satsuna! Hey! hey you alright? Satsuna! There's a lot of falling over in this game. I'm fine. I just feel a little weak. Hmm. That much is to be expected until you are accustomed to the spell. It simultaneously produces both a powerful, evil repelling attack and sacred healing energy. Yo! Wow, I wouldn't be able to pull that off in a million years. Me neither. Thank you very much, Sayagi. I have nothing left to teach you. The rest is up to you. I shall be praying for your good fortune. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Her HP. Alright, um... God, Nid is super OP, but I like Eterna more. Uh, I'm gonna go with Nid. I just I don't I don't want to lose anymore. Uh, well let's heal, I guess. <laughs> Woo, grinding. Yeah. Um, and then Luminaire, huh? Let's see, it draws in all nearby magical energy, causing magic damage to all enemies and recovering the HP of all allies. Cure 2, you have been replaced. Uh, what's the cheap 
items one or cheap combos one. Spiritual harmony? No. Vinculum? Yeah. So we need another vinculum. <laughs> that seems pretty good. Yeah, seriously. I am on board. Let's sell some stuff. It's a lot of selling to do. Whew, okay, and then buy some Sprit Knight. So we want that Vinculum one. Ooh, what's Overload? Stop encounters from being reset. Vinculum. There we go. We want one of these. Let's go back to the top and look and see if there's a new Endure one. Uh, Spark. Don't we have Spark? No, we have Shock. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, let's buy it, just because we can. Battle cry. Got a head off, glad you could pop in. I am also glad that you could pop in, Q. Have a good night. This kind of party management is why I never got into CRPGs. I feel like it's, it's more, it's more common in JRPGs than CRPGs. Slow. Ooh, yeah, we needed this. Oh, what about drain for... Or not drain, um, dispel for cure. Yeah, let's buy that. Okay, and then we can go back to looking at stuff for other people. And chrono. Ace, why do we have two of these? Why do we have two stops? Oblivion. Uh, double back. On receiving a magical attack, we'll return it with increased damage. Interesting. Demonic strike. Okay, and then it supports Sprit Knight from there on out. Oh, just RPGs that have control, uh, whole party in general. Yeah, fair. Uh, you know what? I like Eterna more than Nid. The combo is super OP, but fuck it. Eterna's cooler. All right. Speaking of, let's see. Can we get any more combos with her? Put the Vinculum in there. though. Brilliance, Perdition, Hell Howl. I wonder... I wonder if there's like a Eterna Setsuna Endear combos. Yeah. Let's see. Ooh. There are some interesting combos in here. Extra like Overdrive. Quick and flawless blow, huh? And you're in Setsuna. Huh. Okay, what about triples? Hmm. Genesis. I don't think we have Genesis, do we? Who is that for? It needs Charge and Luminaire. So Genesis would be... Uh, Endear. I don't think we have that. 
Nope. Uh, Cyclone? We do have Cyclone. And Luminaire and Charge. Ooh, we can do Grand Cross now. Sweet. So if we go look at Party. Yeah! Awesome. Okay, I'm happy with that. Uh, time to edit for Monday. Alrighty. Dave, have a good night. Alright. Are there any other things we want to swap out, Sprit Night wise? Uh, wall is good. Shock, we might switch for Spark. The higher SP is, the more damage. Also accumulates a lot of SP. Hmm. Hmm. Hey, thanks for the bits. <laughs> to power not going out and a good stream happening. Thank you. Thank you for the kind words and the well wishes. Brilliance. That's sanctity, huh? So, what if we swap out? We don't really use and thunder. An Avenger isn't very good. Swap out Avenger or Sanctity, which is which one is this again? Throws two chakrams. Uh, we like rarely do that, but whatever. More combos. We don't really need shock anymore because we don't have blow beat. Akure. Does this have... Isn't one of these Hagakure too? Or am I just starting to mix them up? I'm starting to mix them up. Uh, that's Brilliance, which is... Yeah, that means we need Slow in here. Permanence... Barricade. Okay, I think that is all of the, uh, do we have haste in here twice? What? No, okay. Yeah, that is all of the ones we can get in. Okay, so how many combos does that put us at? Wow! Look at all of those combos. I have no idea what they do. Okay. 